Hello everyone, I am in a very, very exciting place. Ooh, I just sat down and it was way lower than I thought. But I have arrived to a very, very exciting place. Now I'm gonna give you a tour in a second. But I am in London and I don't think you guys understand like how exciting this is for me. This is a really, really just exciting time. It's actually my first time ever in London. And just the thought that, you know, so many of my favorite brands are here, so many of you guys are here, is like the most exciting thing in the world. So I arrived this morning, I left France, I got to see another follower of mine, which is like so exciting. It makes me so happy when I get to see you guys. Um, and uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of like what happened today. So my eyebrows are looking crazy today. Um, but I am here at the Rosewood in London. So if you guys follow along, you will know that I stayed at the Carlisle. Now the Carlisle in New York is actually a Rosewood hotel. And I just, I felt so wonderful there. And my experience was so amazing that I actually specifically <laughs> chose to stay at the Rosewood here in London because I'm meeting up with my parents tomorrow. So I have one night, one solo night um, in London before I get to meet up with my family and my boyfriend. And we have a house like rented out for the four of us. So I'm really, really excited. But tonight I am out on the town on my own and I'm so very, very excited. And, you know, I, I think a lot of you are wondering, okay, like, why the Rosewood? Obviously, it's beautiful. Obviously, it's, um, you know, the service is just, like, the best of the best. Like, it does not get any better. A really, really big thing for me is safety. I know it's not something I don't think I've ever shared with you guys, but ever since I was really, really young, I've always been very anxious being like on my own um and i just tend to feel very like unsafe so whenever i'm traveling where i stay is going to really dictate how i feel and obviously like i have had moments um where i feel very very unsafe and i just i can't calm down i can't enjoy my time because i'm like paranoid that something bad is going to happen not the greatest thing to live with but I do and anyway so one of the things that I love about the Carlisle and the Rosewood here is that it feels extremely safe and um, that's just a huge selling point for me. Alright, it's just a quick tour of my um, hotel room. So over here we have the bathroom, the cutest little bathroom ever. The shower is just behind the door. I honestly can't wait to have a shower because I'm, I feel very gross. We have a closet here, the little mini bar. I've already got into some water because I was really needing water. Here we have the main room. So we have a beautiful, beautiful window, which I will show you in a second. Um, the TV, the bed, and then a cute little vanity kind of desk area. Um, and then over here we have a little table with the loveliest things. Now, I just love handwritten little notes and the London team sent me the sweetest little notes just welcoming me here and then they sent me some little tarts up and then there's some cute little things in here. I'm actually not sure what's in here so I'm going to open it up to see what's in here. So there's a Feed Your Skin Super Seed Nutrient Cream and then... Super Glow Skin Nutrition Food Supplement. Oh, I'm very interested in this. That's intriguing. And that's what's in there. I feel so grateful for the Rosewood team. I just, I had such an amazing stay um, at the Carlisle in New York that I had to stay at the Rosewood London because the service and just the attention to detail is unlike no other. So one more stay here at the Rosewood. And you know you're staying at a Rosewood hotel when your pillow is monogrammed with your initials like how special is this i'm like kind of freaking out this is so cool when we stayed at the carlisle in new york we also had our pillowcases with our initials but this is just it's the coolest thing <laughs> before i go and show you my outfit i want to show you a new purchase that i made um in paris and there's a little bit of a story to this but i'm going to tell it to you quickly before i go i do I gotta get going because i want to um, go out and I think things here close at five. I'm not sure. But anyways, essentially the first day we got to Paris A lot of us went shopping and I think I told you guys like I didn't I didn't find anything and that's because I had a very specific 
bag in mind that I had seen in Toronto and I kind of held off on it because I a part of me really wanted to buy it in Paris I thought that'd be like special and so the first day we went shopping I didn't see the bag I actually did see the bag but I didn't initially see the bag in the store I did see a beautiful small burgundy lady Dior and you guys know I love burgundy and I was like oh my god um but I had some reservations about it, so I was like, no, you know what, this, it's, it's not it. There was something missing about the bag. And um, so I was like, that's okay. And as I'm like walking around the store, I walk by an associate and a customer and I see the bag. I see the bag that I wanted. And it was on the chair, it pulled out of the dust bag. Clearly this customer had been looking at the bag. So I immediately, like full 360, turn around, go back to the sales associate at the back of the store. I was with um, a couple other people and I'm like, I saw the bag that I wanted. I don't know if this lady's buying it, but if she's not, like I'm getting it like now. Anyways, she goes, she asks the SA and unfortunately the bag had been sold. I was like, okay, you know what? It's not meant to be. I'm not getting a bag today. And I was like, a part of me was like, oh, like, I really really wanted to get a Dior in Paris because it's like my favorite brand of all time if you haven't if you haven't caught on yet and so I'm like fine it's not meant to be um the next day I was looking for luggage because I had run out of space um in my luggage and I also had some like products that I had to check in I couldn't just um take them as a carry-on so uh, me Michaela and Stephanie a lot of you will know her as Glamzilla we all decided to go on a final little shopping trip. I was looking for luggage um, and they were just shopping around. So we go to Le Bon Marche. I apologize for my French accent. Um, it's this really, really beautiful like luxury retailer in Paris. Apparently it's not really well known with tourists. It's very local. Um, one of the Caudalie girls who actually used to live in Paris told us about it and I'm so glad that she did because it was amazing. So if, you're, if you are a tourist, or I feel like my Paris girls are not going to want me sharing this. Um, but um, if you're going to Paris, it is a beautiful, beautiful spot. It's not very busy. It's not very touristy. And if you are a person who doesn't like the touristy areas, I don't like the touristy stuff. I would prefer experiencing things like uh, a local. Then this area is great. Um, but anyways, we went in and I was like, okay, Ramoa, I'm going to get a suitcase. Um, I had seen like the classic style, but not in the silver. They had like a beautiful like... Uh, almost like titanium gold color it was stunning so I go up to them and I was like I do you have a suitcase and they ended, ended up telling us that they had no suitcases at all like not one single suitcase available to buy in the entire store which is a little odd but I was like okay that's fine so I keep going around and then the girls really like to go into Dior and I'm like okay fine like don't you don't have to ask me again um, so we go into Dior, I do a lap, and I'm like, you know what, I didn't see anything, nothing new, like, I've seen it all before. And I didn't see the bag that I had wanted. So we go, I go and I buy some stuff for my parents and myself, which I'll show you quickly as well. And, um, by the time we're all leaving, the girls are like, okay, let's do one more stop in Dior. And I said, okay, fine, like, I'm, we'll never say no to Dior. So I go into Dior and Michaela goes, Sam, is that not the bag you wanted? And I said, well, yeah, it is. I hadn't noticed it the first time around. So I go up to the sales associate and for some reason, the bags on display in France, um, a lot of them aren't for sale. I'm not sure why, but a lot of them aren't for sale. Um, I don't know if like perhaps they've been sold or whatever. So anyways, I, I'm like going up to this essay and I'm like praying to the handbag gods that this bag is either for sale or they have one in the back that's available. So I'm like shaking as I'm going up to this guy and I'm like, hi, um, I'd really like to know if that bag is available. Like that one right there. I really, really want it. And he goes, well, yes, yes, it is. But let me check. I think we have one. So he goes to the back and he goes, well, we don't have one in the back. In fact, this is the last one. And I said, what do you, like, wow, like the last one? He goes, yes, the last one in Paris. And in that moment, it was like, this bag is literally meant to be. Like, it, it was literally just meant to be. And I, you know, the second one, obviously, in Paris was the one that I had seen the day prior that the customer bought. And that's just a reminder, you know, <laughs> waiting sometimes is the best thing you can do and I can hear like my mother's voice in my head when I was growing up like 
being patient and waiting to get the exact thing that you want is so so worth it sometimes and I'm so glad that I actually waited and not bought anything the first day um, because I ended up getting the perfect thing but anyways you guys are probably like Sam can we please see this stinking bag so here's the bag <laughs> right now pause the video and see if you can guess what bag it is so this is the delight um, medium lady Dior and she's got this beautiful embroidery pattern now she's not leather she is actually just like a canvas. The hardware is like a gunmetal color, and then the strap has um, like a beautiful embroidery on one side, and then it's Christian Dior on the inside. So that is the bag that I fell in love with. I think it's so me. I, this this pattern seems almost like classic and vintage, but it seems modern with the Christian Dior and the fabric just seems so like rustic and raw. I love it. Like I literally love everything about this bag. It's also a size medium, which is different than my previous Lady Dior. My other one's a small, the small ABC. So yeah, I don't know. It was just very, very exciting. But um, anyways, I'm going to have to get going. I've been chatting for like 10 minutes. Oh my God. Um, but the other thing that I bought in Paris is, you guys know I love my fragrances. So I bought this um, fragrance and the brand, I'm, I'm really not sure what the brand is. I honestly bought it in such a rush. It's just the store caught my attention. All the fragrances smelled amazing and I was like, oh my God, like I'm literally getting something from here. And like I said, we were in quite of a rush because we didn't have a ton of time before we had to go back for dinner. But this is the fragrance that I got and it says it's um, SM Novella. Lyri, Lyri, Lyris, like Lyris, Iris with an L in front, I don't know. Um, it looks like, I think it's one of their newest launch, but I'm going to show you. But like, look at this bottle, the details are just stunning. If any of you, I mean, I haven't done my research yet and I will, I promise that I will. But if any of you are from Paris and France and you know like some cool facts about this brand, I'd love to know because it really, really caught my attention. All their fragrances, their candles, their just everything was really really beautiful um and this is a fragrance that i got it's very floral it just feels timeless all right that's been enough um rambling of me so i'm gonna quickly show you my outfit and i'm gonna head out i need to go find a tripod and i'm also gonna grab dinner because i really haven't eaten all that much today i've been obviously i like i had to fly here and check in and all that stuff but i'm gonna go for a little bit of a walk i'd love to get out and walk we didn't do a whole lot of walking in paris we did a lot of driving and if you know me, you know that's not my thing. I love taking transit. I love walking. I love, 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 love to walk. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go, um, I think I'm going to go into Primark. I think they should have tripods. I'm not sure. I've never ever been in a Primark, so I'm, I'm not sure what's in there. I'm assuming it's maybe like, like a bay almost. I'm not sure. Anyways, that's the plan. So I'm going to quickly show my outfits and then I can go. Don't mind Karate Kid in the back, by the way. I just put the TV on for some, some background noise while I was getting ready. Um, but I am wearing my black lily silk button up. This is one of my favorite shirts. I love wearing it in the summer because it's just, it's very easy and breezy. And then I've got my shorts from Aritzia. I current, I don't remember the name of these, but I just love them because they look so, so classy. I've had them for quite a long time. My little um, saddle belt. And then of course, the new Lady Dior because she's stunning. So anyways, sorry about the lighting by the way. It's not the greatest, but that's what I'm wearing. I'm just gonna wear my sneakers with this outfit because like I said, I'm gonna do lots of walking. But anyways, let's go. Managed to find a tripod. I'm just carrying it in my arm. But now I'm just trying to walk and find a restaurant. I'm really, really hungry. I got a matcha and it tastes very, very different. It's still good, it's super different. Um, yeah, anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. Just walking is so beautiful here. You guys that live here, please, next time you walk around, just appreciate the beauty of your city. I don't know, I should do the same in my own, but yeah. <laughs> Got back to my hotel room 
I'm actually gonna sit over here. There's great lighting over here. <laughs> As I was saying, I just got back. I ended up um, finding a tripod. It's right there. <laughs> um, and then I also found a ramen place. I honestly struggled to find um, a place to eat. I just, there wasn't a lot around this area. Um, so I just found that ramen spot. I'm like, oh, that'll be homey and cozy and I'm kind of missing my charcuterie boards from Paris. <laughs> um, but I did find a tripod because I want to film some content and I actually left my tripod in the car before I came to France, which is really, really annoying. So I was just like stacking stuff up at the um, other hotels, but there is no like good stackable objects at this hotel. So I was like, okay, let me go find a tripod. So I stumbled into this little like tech shop. Um, I don't even know on, on what street, but, um, and it was like 20, 20 pounds, um, which is fine. So I got it and it should be perfect because I want to film, no, this is kind of different. I want to film like a get ready with me, but like get ready with me for bed. So I want to like get unready essentially, like take my makeup off, put my jammies on, which I feel like I've never done. And I, I just think it would be cool. I will be having a very, very, very early night tonight because I'm very tired and I do want to film in the morning. So I'm just thinking like if I get to bed like super early, like fall asleep by like eight, nine o'clock, like I'm good to get up super early tomorrow and get lots of work done. And then I get to see my family in the morning. And honestly, I feel like just thinking about it makes me really emotional. Like I could cry just thinking about my family. Like I really miss them. I really, really want to see them. Even though it's only been like barely a week i just yeah but anyways i am going to film this tiktok and get into bed i'm probably gonna put on a movie or something and just get all cozied up so yeah good morning everyone last night i filmed a little like get unready with me and then as soon as i was in pajamas i like stood there for a second i was like i'm gonna go sleep and i went to sleep and i woke up at um like 8 30 and it was like the first eight hour sleep i've had in like the last week um which feels so nice my parents have arrived my boyfriend have arrived they are currently going through like security and getting all their bags and stuff so i'm essentially um going to get myself ready going to pack i'm going to film a little content in here and then i'm going to go meet them and i'm very very excited um, I also just ordered breakfast, so I'm very excited for breakfast because I'm hungry. But um, I'm going to sit down and start doing my makeup. Well, my breakfast has just arrived. They handed me my peppermint tea, which is just like, it's the best thing. Um, but I'm going to sit down and I'm going to show you what I got for breakfast. So this is my breakfast today. I ordered some scrambled eggs over there. I was really enjoying French scrambled eggs. Um, so I got some eggs. I ordered some peppermint tea, an espresso. Um, some bread, some tomatoes. I've been loving just tomatoes with like salt. Um, so I'm gonna put some salt on those um, and then of course butter. That's what I got for breakfast. Um, so I'm just gonna eat. I was gonna say I'm gonna quickly eat. I feel like that's such like a Canadian like North American like go 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 thing but I'm going to eat breakfast and then finish getting ready and um, yeah anyways I'm very excited. I'm very hungry so Let's go eat. I am all dressed and I feel like all my outfits are like just going on repeat now. <laughs> but I am going to now take a cab to where Airbnb is. And oh, look at that sun. It's just so beautiful. I'm essentially going to take a cab to go to the Airbnb because there's a really cute restaurant right outside of it to meet my parents. And luckily our host allowed us to drop our bags there earlier because check-in isn't until later. But at least we don't have to be like lugging around our luggage for like a really really long time so that's the plan so i'm about to head down just waiting for someone to come and help me with my suitcases because they literally weigh like as much as me um and um yeah so anyways but like just quickly side note look at this beautiful oh i love it it just looks beautiful <laughs> the sunlight just hitting in all the right places um but i am essentially going to head out as soon as i kind of get out of here and i'm so excited to see my family like you have no idea oh mom dad can't wait to see you. <laughs> All checked out of the hotel. Now I'm just on my way to meet my parents. It's very hot. I always forget that there's like no AC. Um, but um, yeah, I should be there in about a half hour. So I'm just gonna um, call everyone to make sure that I'm heading in the right direction and um, just letting them know when I'll get there and stuff. So. just 
just arrived at our Airbnb. It's a little warm, but it's really, really cute and lots of stairs. So we had to, we're struggling to get suitcases up and everywhere, but now we're all just getting settled. So yeah, I just brought some stuff upstairs and gonna get settled. I've just finished getting ready. We are settled in the Airbnb. Everyone took a good nap and I honestly, I, I am obviously already like in this time zone. So I stayed awake. I went on TikTok for a little bit. I haven't had a lot of downtime um, being with Kodali and just up and about everywhere. So I went on TikTok for a little bit and then I did a lot of research about some places because a lot of you had recommended a bunch of places in London. I actually asked on Instagram for recommendations. So I was kind of like sifting through them and researching all the different places. And then I also searched up um, some tickets for Hampton Court. Um, the palace because it is just like my dream to go visit it. Obviously, I'm a history major I know a lot from it and about it and can Henry the eighth and It's just like my dream to go so I think tomorrow we're gonna do that But anyways irrelevant to today right now. We're gonna go for a walk and then probably grab dinner um, For tonight. So anyways, let's go. We're out of the Airbnb I'm not sure what we're actually doing. My parents are just up ahead and we're kind of just following them at the moment we're about to walk into H&M and it always fascinates me to see how different the H&Ms are in different places because at least in Spain they're just a million times prettier than say like anywhere in Canada so we're about to go into one here I have no idea what street we're on um, but yeah <laughs> somewhere I think we're up by Regent Street and I to my UK followers who some of you get mad at me for wearing like sweaters in the summer I now understand where you're coming from it is so hot here like in Canada you step on a bus you step on transit and the AC is being like blasted like it's freezing cold here it's it's hot like I literally want to be wearing nothing because it's so so hot so to my UK followers, I understand where you're coming from and you are so right. If I lived here, I would not be dressing in the same way that I do in Canada. But in Canada, we love our AC and we love our heat in the winter. That's uh, just how we are. Just stopping at Tesco's to pick up some things for breakfast up until midnight, which is great. Good morning, everyone. Today we are headed off to Harrods. Now, I'm very, very excited because I know that Harrods is like an amazing, amazing place to shop. Yesterday we went to Selfridges and it was just amazing, like the amount of stuff that they had. Just it, it was just astounding, even for the men's. Like I feel like there was such an appreciation here for you know, men's clothing and men wanting to actually, you know, dress themselves and take care of themselves. I really, really, I loved it. I appreciated that so, so much. And it was just really cool. But um, today we are off to Harrods and then we are going to have lunch at a cute little um, restaurant that we found called Maggie Jones. Now, um, I didn't realize, but like a lot of the food places here are like fancy like restaurants. And I feel like at least in Toronto, like it's really common to just have like smaller, like not fancy restaurants, like can wear jeans and a t-shirt to them. I feel like that's super, super common. So I've struggled to find little restaurants like that. I also don't wanna do like any touristy restaurants. Like I know I got a huge list of like touristy restaurants and typically like the popular restaurants, they're good for a reason, but I don't know. I want something just really, really low key and just awesome. And so Maggie Jones we found and it looks awesome. So I hope it's awesome. We realized later on that it was like, london's top 25 restaurants so i was like yay good good find sam but um that's kind of the plan and then i think afterwards we were gonna do some um art galleries and then probably just some pubs later on today so that's kind of the plan but of course i'm the last one ready so let's go we just got off the bus and harrods is right in front of us so i'm very excited
just finished up at Harris. We, Mom and I ended up stopping at the Carolina Herrera um, Beauty Boutique to get some little lipsticks. If some of you don't know, I was born in Venezuela and Carolina Herrera is from Venezuela. She was born there and it's just cool to have a designer that you know is from your home birth country. So um, yeah, we got a couple little things I have to show you what I got, but Harrods was amazing. But now we're gonna head home. I have to upload some content. So we're gonna drop off our shopping bags and then I have to just get a little bit of work done before we go out again. I think we're meeting again later with my parents to have some dinner at Maggie Jones, hopefully, crossing fingers. Um, we also might find a pub right now on our way home if we, if we can. We are on our way to dinner. We all had a bit of an outfit change and then we are now on our way to Maggie Jones for dinner. I'm very, very excited. Um, it's also a lot chillier here than I um, thought so I didn't quite pack for like fall weather which is sad because I love fall. It's my favorite season um, but that's fine. I'm still I'm making out just fine. <laughs> There she is, Maggie Jones. <laughs> finished up dinner and we are now walking back to our Airbnb. Dinner was so, 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 so good. <laughs> we are in search for just like, I guess, traditional English food. You've got like your uh, roasts. It was so, so good. I highly recommend getting the sausage with mashed potatoes because that's what I had. <laughs> it was really, really good. The gravy was just, oh. So, um, Maggie Jones, if you're looking for a great um, little English restaurant. It was awesome. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Good morning, we have just arrived at a very exciting, exciting place we are at the 131 Hotel in Chatelham. Chatelham, I'm not trying to say that one. <laughs> but we have just arrived here at the beautiful hotel. Now this hotel is actually Jade Hall and Cooper's hotel. Um, I was kindly invited here to spend the night and the day and just enjoy all that this area has to offer and of course visit Hall and Cooper, which is just a dream. And I'm very very excited to be here, but I just got into the hotel room and I have to show you because it is just so 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 beautiful So let me show you around so as you walk in you have the bed and beautiful paneling and wallpaper Beautiful fireplace and a TV. I think over there is a bar area and some coffee Really really cute seating area now. We haven't obviously done anything with our luggage. So everything is still here um, but we've got a little desk area. Then we've got some closets over here and I also just noticed that um, she has a Dyson in here. So you bet I will be doing my hair here tomorrow. Uh, very exciting. And then through here is the bathroom. So let me show you. All right, so through here we have the bathroom. So the tub, this beautiful artwork, um, and then a lovely, lovely double vanity here. I will be doing my hair and makeup in here tomorrow because it is just the loveliest and then you've also got a fantastic shower in here so that's a quick tour of the hotel room i think right now we're just gonna spend a couple minutes getting a little bit settled and then i think the lovely lady at receptionist is gonna give us a little bit of a tour of the property i know they have a couple different restaurants um like within the hotel so i think she's gonna just show us around and tell us what's going on over here and then I think after that we're just gonna go for a walk and um, yeah I think it'll just be lovely but I think that must be my parents <laughs> we just spent the last like 10 minutes or so getting settled in here I touched up my hair a little bit which to be honest I'm very very unhappy with at the moment it is very brown and yellow and orangey and um, if you've been following along for a while you will know that I really don't like that I avoid that at all costs um, so I think a trip to the salon is going to be a priority when I get back 
which is um, unfortunate. But anyways, aside from that, I just touched up my makeup a little bit because we are ready to go down for a little bit of a walk. And I also finally get to show you what I'm wearing because there's been no mirrors, like proper mirrors in our Airbnb, which is sometimes I wonder like how people live um, without mirrors. But anyways, I get to show you what I'm wearing and also what I bought yesterday at Harrods. So I'm actually wearing it right now. And it's been one that has been in my cart for some time. So I'm excited that I got it, but let me quickly show you what I'm wearing, that way we can get going. I'm a little backlit with the window there, but I'm wearing this new um, totem sweater, which I have actually been eyeing up, but I just felt like with summer it hasn't been the appropriate time. Um, but it's got all the details that I love, got super oversized sleeves, it's a little bit longer in the back, it's got a little side slit, kind of reminds me of my off-white sweater but i feel like it's got a much more timeless like feel to it i mean like striped sweaters like this i feel like will never ever go out of style um but again super comfy super cozy and a little bit oversized which i love and then i'm just wearing it with my aritzia conan pants these are like my holy grail pants and then my Aksa Regatos. Just a really comfy outfit. It is quite chilly out today. I think it's about 19 degrees. Um, so I had to bring out some sweaters. I purchased a sweater because I didn't bring enough sweaters thinking it was going to be like super warm here and it's it's not. And then for bag, I'm wearing my new um, Lady Dior just because I feel like all the colors um, go perfectly with my outfit today. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. But anyways, let's go and um, explore a little bit around the hotel and um, the area as well. and they have so much gin that they just it, like it's an endless list of gins but I got the pink ribbon strawberry and it is it's phenomenal like first of all just look at how beautiful that is it's amazing I also will say I've done some gin tastings in Toronto before and the fever tree Mediterranean tonic water is one of my favorites so that's actually kind of why I picked the drink I was looking for drinks that had it in it and it's my favorite tonic water I find it just really 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 nice so we finished up having drinks at the hotel, but now we've made our way to, actually I don't know what this place is called. It's the only place that was serving food um, between three and five. So we are now having some arancini and some pasta. This is what we're starting with. later I just finished getting ready because tonight we are having dinner at the Japanese restaurants within the hotel so I have to quickly show you what I'm wearing a lot of you will recognize this dress it's one of my favorites and I've had it for years and years and years and I feel like it accidentally matches the design and aesthetic of the restaurant so that's perfect but let me quickly show you what I'm wearing so we can head down because a reservation is like now so this is what I'm wearing tonight I've got my um, favorite, favorite Aritzia floral dress. It's such a beautiful pattern and I've just paired it with my Valentino heels and my little bag. I just think this looks very, very cute and fitting for the restaurant. So anyways, let's get going. All right, just heading down now. I'm very excited for dinner tonight. I can't walk that fast. <laughs> okay, just girls who wear heels will understand. <laughs> the parents beat us, of course. Okay, we're just heading down now. So I think we're actually going to be indoors, but they do have a lot of like seating area outside. It's after the bank holiday weekend, so we were told that it'd be very, very quiet here. Of course, it makes sense.
everyone it is a new day and i actually just got back up from having breakfast um, mom and i went down and had a little bit of a breakfast well a work breakfast so we had to do a little bit of work i pretty much um got some emails got my weeks organized because going back to canada is going to be very 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 busy um also my skin is very happy and glowy right now but today is a very exciting day look the sun just come out today we are going to haul and cooper now some of you are like okay sam like you're going to a store no i have been shopping online from haul and cooper since like i don't even know and it's one of my favorite brands and it is just so exciting to be able to go in store and see everything in person and try things on for me like fabrics are a really big thing and like how they feel on my skin so to be able to go into the store and literally feel and touch everything just feels so surreal so um i'm about to start getting ready i have to wash my hair not because it's dirty but i bought purple shampoo and i am going to try and fix this mess because i can't handle it anymore it looks brown and orangey and i can't do it um you can even see it's getting like worse up here in the front so anyways i went to boots and i found a purple shampoo i was looking for the l'oreal ever pure line that's the line i've personally used and the one that i personally love from the drugstore i think it's phenomenal but they i didn't find it in that boots so i did find another l'oreal one it's got sulfates in it so i'm not too keen on using it but anything to get this warmth out of my hair i also just didn't i didn't know where else to go in this area so anyways that's what i'm about to do i'm gonna wash my hair and see in this lighting it looks fine but in like when the sun comes out it looks super super warm and i can't stand it so anyways look there it goes it goes warm again that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna get ready with you to go to holland cooper i'm so excited also be prepared to be seeing a lot of this sweater because it is just, I feel like, a piece that's been missing from my wardrobe. Anyways, I'm going to show you the shampoo that I got, first and foremost. But I already put it in the shower, so it's this one here. I'm literally standing in the shower. Um, but this is the L'Oreal Paris Alvive, Alvive color protect um it is purple shampoo so that's what i'm going to use today i'm pretty much going to get my hair wet put, a, put the purple shampoo in and leave it for like a minute or two um before i rinse it out that's the best way to kind of and i'm going to definitely concentrate it on this front piece here but that's kind of the best way to um make sure that it does its job and then i'll do my hair and get going in the hall and cooper as you can see behind me it is just everything is beautiful in here um i even found my favorite cable knit sweaters i was joking around with her because i was like i have this color and i have that color because it is just my absolute favorite sweater but to see like all of the colors that they have there's even more i think back here they have this yellow. i have the white i love the white it's my favorite and a beautiful pink so if you're a girly girl it's just your pink it's just so exciting to be here with the brand that i love and it's just very exciting so i tried on pretty much the whole store um i'll have to show you a little bit of what i got um, later on but um yeah it's just so exciting and yeah now my mom is gonna do some of her own shopping so i'm gonna go um help her decide what she's gonna get We 
are just taking a little bit of a walk now to this other little area where the boutique is. They have like, I guess, a cidery and some little pop-up shops. Looks really, really cute. I'll show you what I'm looking at right there. It looks so, so pretty. So that's where we're headed right now. A different day I have just added a new Paul and Cooper item to my wardrobe today I was wearing a sweater that kept falling off my shoulders so um, I added on this blazer that I got today at the boutique but we've just arrived at a little town called Burton on the water it was recommended to us last night at the hotel and it is just the cutest little thing it's super busy though it seems like everyone is here um, it's lots of families it's the cutest thing I have to show you what I'm seeing so cute there's more boutiques there and there loveliest loveliest day today we did a lot of touring we went to stratford it was honestly just lovely i think the last clip you will have seen we were grabbing some drinks at um at a pub but um i'm happy to be in bed because it's been a long day um but i think for the next few days we have a few days left of our trip i am going to um spend some quality time with my family and disconnect a little bit from social media um, because as much as this was going to be a little bit of work during this trip I did want to take a few days to just not be in front of a camera um, so I think the next clip you'll see in this vlog will be us heading back home to Canada and I'm sure that future Sam is going to be very excited to head home because that's usually how I am with trips. I think everyone is like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I will see you later. Mm -hmm. 